Good morning, I'm Nigel Lewis. I'm the technical manager of the company Fish Farm LLC in Dubai. We have uh, a fish farming operation which comprises hatchery, where we produce the juveniles, where we are at the moment, uh, where we produce the big fish for market. And we have a very innovative system in Jebel Ali, right close, in fact, in Dubai, which is a recirculation system producing fish also. Um, the capacity of our total operations is 2,000 tonnes. The species we produce mostly uh, are sea bream, sea bass, but we also produce hamor, yellowtail kingfish, red sea bream, and some very limited quantities of gabbit and sham, which are two local species. The response generally from the government, from the local people, uh, and from the fishermen has been positive. We employ and we recruit locally um, we help the fishermen in that we relieve pressure on the local species. So for every tonne of fish that's in our farm, that's one tonne of fish less that has to be fished from the wild. So they still get an existence, they still catch the fish, but we're releasing the pressure on the endangered species here. Well, in line with all GCC countries uh, and with halal requirements, we go one step further, which is we, we feed only non-land animal protein diets, which means there are no land animal products in our feeds, so halal is not an issue. The environment in which we grow the fish is our environment as well, so we have to take care of the environment in order to take care of our fish. So it's impossible for us to consider having any environmental impact which will affect our fish, so by definition, when we look after our fish, we're also simultaneously looking after the environment. Obviously, we have to try and minimise the impact that we have because when there was no farm here, there was obviously zero impact. Now we have a farm here and we go through every single step to ensure that we respect and maintain the environment. Farmed fish is like any farmed animal. We all eat farmed everything. Uh, in fact, fish is the only food that we still hunt, so it's an inevitability that you're going to have to eat fish. Fish is a healthy source of protein, it has a special uh, nutritional value, and that's omega-3 fatty acids. So, you eat fish, it's healthy, it's good brain food, it's keeping the cholesterol down, it's in every single way a very, very good food. So here we have to use species which are uh, adapted to this environment, in the RAS, we adapt the environment to suit the species, so we turn it around. My name's Edmund, I'm the business manager of Fish Farm. I'm sat here with Tom Harvey, the commercial manager of Spinney's. We're in the mission control of Fish Farm. Here we produce sea bass, sea bream and hamur. It's our great pleasure to welcome Spinney's this morning. We've already started working together, I think, since October. About six months, yeah, so, yeah nearly six months ago. Last year, um, and we're supplying you with sea bass and sea bream and, and hamor at the moment, grown here uh, in Jebel Ali. This is one of the most high-tech fish farms there is globally. Um, as you can see from behind me, we have regulation of oxygen, of salinity, of pH, of the current that the fish swim in which all leads to the freshest, most delicious fish being sold directly through Spinney's to your table. Uh, yeah, so November we started and we've just rolled out so that uh, the fish farm uh, range that we're sourcing is gonna be coming to all of the Spinney's stores that have a fishmonger and, uh, and an ice slab in the yep. stores. And we're just really pleased to be working with Spinney's. Of all of the retailers that I've spoken to, Spinney's fits with our ethos and that's that's a big plus for us because we want to sell sustainable fish fresh fish you know unfortunately and you know tom knows this but not i don't think a lot of the public do that if you buy were to buy a sea bass or a sea bream from or turkey or turkey greece, greece yeah yeah it'll be unfortunately three or four three or four days old before it gets into into the stores, whereas, you know, we can harvest for you this morning and it'll be in your stores this afternoon. Yeah. Well, there have been great curbs on, on um, uh, the, the quotas, the, the, the size and weights of the hamor that have been able to be harvested, fished from, from the Gulf here. And um, 
And as we all know, over the past, I think, decade, stocks have just plummeted. Um, one of the great things that we can do here as part of Fish Farm is we can grow delicious local hamur here yeah. on land yeah. and, and sell it to you and take and not restock the ocean but take some of the pressure off the sea. We've got the consistency, we've got the quality, we've got the traceability yeah. Yeah. and we're still delivering just as much of a level of, of freshness as, as, the, the, as the local wild court but in a sustainable manner. Correct. Keep coming to Spinney's. We're, we're, we're working to deliver more and more sustainably farmed, fresh, locally uh, produced fish species uh, in collaboration with Fish Farm. So yeah, watch this space. Keep coming in, see what's happening.